Well, before we get started here, we have a couple of things to take care of. First off, I want you to be as loud as possible. Big arigato gozaimasu to the organizers who put together this event every single year for you guys to come for free. Please give them a round of applause for another amazing Orlando Japan Festival. Number two is our tickets are being supplied by two conventions. One of them is ours, which is Wasabi Con in Jacksonville, Florida. Another one is a really small, obscure, up-and-coming convention. Any fans here heard of something called Megacon Orlando? Yes, we're very happy to have partnered with them. Uh, our best of show will be winning two free passes to both of those shows, a pair of each show, and then our runner-up will get a pass to go to both, worth literally hundreds of dollars. Or, in my opinion, as an anime fan, absolutely priceless. So, all right, who's ready to start a costume contest? Excellent, all right, I need my assistant up there. Where's Sydney? Here I come. Wait, Joe, make some noise for my co MC Sydney. Sydney, how did you get into doing this? Talk about your group in Jacksonville. Yes, my name is Sydney. I am from Jacksonville, Florida, and I run the largest nerd group now here in North Florida called Babes, Games, and Geeks Jacks with over 3,000 members. The best part, over 60% are women who are into gaming and anime. It's funny, if you told me 20 years ago that there were girl anime fans besides the woman I wound up marrying, I'd have said you're a liar. <laughs> but, excellent. All right, we're gonna bring our judges up here for a moment. Uh, let's see. I would like you to introduce yourself to the audience, please. Hello, my name is Cherokee, or Sakura Domo. Hi, my name is Mira Lee. These wonderful people will be deciding the fate of the 15 people we are about to bring on stage. It is their expert opinion that we're counting on, that's why they're giggling so much. You guys can grab a seat right there. Sydney and I are going to start bringing them on one at a time. All right. Who wants to see our first contestant? Okay, I know you're waiting in line for food. We've all done it today, but we need to hear from you guys in the back of the food booth too. Who wants to see a cosplay contest? That's more like it. Sydney, who's our first contestant? All right, up first today, contestant number one, we have Emery as a pill film air from Disney's Twisted Wonderland. Come on over here, right by me. This costume was sewn entirely. She hand painted the frogs, the pattern, and the lining. Excellent. All right. How long did it take you to put this together? About three months on and off. Thank God. I, I was hoping you were going to say, like, I threw this together last night. Um, why did you choose this character? Um, well, I love him very much. He's a character who gets very, very upset if anybody calls him cute. Noted when I say any notes. Got it. Um, but if you guys didn't know, Twisted Wonderland is an amazing series. It's based off of the Disney villains. So if anybody likes villains, you might like it. It's pretty good. I always tell people it feels like, because I was there when they introduced to Anime Japan a few years ago, and I'm like, oh, it's Harry Potter style with Disney villains. Because it's all the houses and all that stuff. So, okay, so one more round of applause, and I'm going to get out of the way. Pose so they can all take your photo. All right, you want to step over there to the judges real quick? You guys have any, and then just hang there. Who's our next contestant, Sydney? Next up, contestant number two, we have Allison Chang as Diva. Oh, look at that. All right, so I only own an Atari 2600, but they told me that you're in a game. What, what game are you from? I'm from Overwatch 2, and I'm Diva. Excellent. Can can, can I play that on my Atari? I don't think so. You don't think so. All right, what made you choose this character? I play Overwatch a lot, and she's one of my favorite characters, so... I, I found the one person still playing Overwatch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Excellent. How long did it take you to put this together? It took me about half a year. Six months of your life for this, and it looks amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look. Pose for the cameras. They're all taking your photos right now. There you go. All right, have you just hop over here? All right, who's next? Contestant number three, we have Luca as May from Guilty Gear Stride. Okay, what is that? That's an anchor. 
It's an anchor, okay. So tell me about your character so I can understand why you're lugging an anchor everywhere. She's a member of the Jellyfish Pirates and she uses the anchor to beat up her opponents. And alongside a dolphin. And a dolphin. So, wait, wait, so she beats up dolphins? No, 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 she beats up people with dolphins. Oh, you're about to have a bunch of eco people after you. Okay, thank God. All right, good. How long did it take you to put this together? It, this took me about three months to build and pattern. This took me only about a month or two to pattern, make, so dye everything. I, I love how the, the prop got its own time frame versus the whole costume. Well, you look amazing. Round of applause, folks. Pose for the crowd. There you go. Have you go over there, please? All right, Sydney, what's next? All right, contestant number four. We have Yara as Junko Inoshima. Hello. All right, Junko, what are you from? Danganronpa, it's a video game. Okay. Uh, is there an anime too, or just a game? Uh, there's an anime to the game too as well. I'm looking at your hair. Is this the one with that really creepy bear I see everywhere? Yes. Manakuma. Excellent. Okay, so what made you choose a video game slash anime with a creepy bear to cosplay from? Um, I've always loved the game and it's just really inspiring to like solve mysteries and like solve a crime and stuff for like it's the video game, but it's just really fun to play. So Any Duncan Rampa fans out there? You're among friends. All right, well, you look amazing. Give them a round of applause. Everybody take a photo. All right, have you go ahead and hang over there. All right, Sydney, I'm going to have you, we'll probably want to move you up there because we're going to start stacking people there. Who is our next victim? I mean, contestant. <laughs> next up, we have Lucas as Naruto. <laughs> You're doing this all wrong, bro. All right, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. All right, so we need to go right there, see where that little center is. I need you to bend like this. I need you to put your arms back. All right. Put your... All right, now I need you to run right here. Ready? And go! There you go! All right, good job, Lucas. Now, uh, who are you dressed as? Naruto. Excellent. Is that your favorite anime? Easy question, yes. Oh! Alright, what do you think of Baruto? Who the heck is that? Got awfully cold off here, up here, freezing out. Alright, excellent. What made you choose to be Naruto? Um, I used to watch Naruto all the time with my big brother. Then he went to college and I stopped watching it, so I thought this would be a good choice. Well, I'm sure he'd be very proud of you right now. Where did you go to school? Um, Hunter's Creek Elementary. Okay, excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause. Pose for everybody. Take a photo. Alright, let me have you hop right over there for me. Alright, Sydney, who we got next? Alright, up next we have Lincoln as Ash Ketchum, ready to catch him all from Pokemon! Alright! How you doing? Alright, my first and most important question. Do you know the Pokemon theme song? No. Let's see. Audience, do you know the Pokemon theme song? Everybody with me? Right? I want to be the very best. like no one. There you go. They're doing that for you. Why did you choose Ash Ketchum? Because he's my favorite person. Uh, now here's the second most important question I'm going to ask all day. Who is your favorite Pokemon? Squirtle. Good answer. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. Let me have you go right over there with them, all right? Outstanding. All right, who's next, Sydney? Up next, we have EG as Madara from Naruto. All right. Uh, you, you know him? Just checking. All right. All right. So who are you? I'm Madara. All right, and that's also from Naruto. What made you choose this costume? 
Honestly, uh, someone uh, said I looked like this character in a different cosplay mode, so I decided to do it anyway. <laughs> Fair enough, okay. How long did it take you to put all of this together? About two months on and off. Two months. Folks, people spend months on the costumes they're showcasing for you, and this is another amazing one. Go ahead and pose for the audience. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> All right, yeah, just hop over there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, perfect. All right, next victim. Next up, we have Emma as Toga for My Hero Academia. All right, so what is, uh, I've never, what's the name of the show you're doing? My Hero Academia. I've, I've never heard of it. <laughs> is it. Has anybody heard of this show? Oh, wait, I have heard about this one. This is the one with the young boy, and he has a mentor character, and that guy takes him to be at a specialized school, and he gets there and he gets two best friends. One's an airhead, and one's like kind of very by the rules, right? And then there's a blonde kid that's a jerk to him all the time. Yeah, I already watched Harry Potter, folks. All right, so what made you choose this character? Um, I love her passion and everything that she does, and she's just all around crazy and fun character. Crazy is the correct word. All right, give her a round of applause. She looks amazing. Pose for the audience. Have you go stand over on that side over there for me, please. All right, who's next? Next up, we have Kat as Jiro from My Hero Academia. Well, I already used my My Hero jokes, okay. Excellent. So who are you? Kyoku Jiro. Okay, and uh, Jiro's the one with uh, that likes the music. With it. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. Okay. What made you choose this character specifically? Um... You like the anime? I do, but also the fact that... Uh... Do you like music? The fact that she can write her own songs and decide to show the civilians that they can, they're not just heroes, that they are also human while performing. That's an amazing reason and you look amazing. Give her a round of applause. Go ahead and pose for everybody so they can get your photo. There you go. All right, go ahead and stand right by her over there. Good job. All right, who's next? All right, up next we have Addison as Kenoshi, otherwise known as No Face from Spirited Away. <laughs> If, if that one offers you something, don't take it. All right. Right over here. There you go. Keep going. Have you stand right here. Excellent. All right. So, what made you choose this character? Wow. We're going all in, folks. Well, good night. That is amazing. Uh, using your, how many, how many uh, months did it take you to put this together? Eternal, got it, okay, perfect. Pose for the audience, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. Do me a favor, we're gonna keep you safe, we're gonna put you right over here. So follow me, let's place them right there. As far away from me as possible, okay. All right, Sydney, who do we got next? Up next. We have Ebi Sawa as No Face from Spirited Away. Deja Vu. <laughs> Slightly less scary version. You're like a stylized like nightclub version. That's amazing. What did uh, what made you choose this character? It's one of my favorite characters because it literally he just engorges himself, cries, and then throws stuff everywhere. It's hilarious. You sound like me at a buffet every Thursday night. All right. How long did it take you to put this together? way too long that's the right answer every time folks way too long well you look amazing everybody round of applause <laughs> excellent do we ever go stand by the other no face all right all right put your hands together for joshua as usopp from one piece come on up joshua <laughs> Are you legendary pirate Captain Usopp? Yes. Yes. And why is Usopp the best One Piece character? Because he has sharpshooting. All right. 
What made you choose this character? Because he's a sharp shooter. <laughs> and uh, out of the original Straw Hats, who would you say is the only person who could be Usopp? Everybody in One Piece, technically, except Nami. Everybody in One Piece could be up, uh, Usopp, except for Nami. I agree with you. All right, pose for the audience. Give them a round of applause. All right, let me have you go hang over there with these guys. All right. All right, up next we have Alfonso as Samurai Venusaurus from Pokemon. All right. So this is kind of a, a fusion costume, right? Oh, it's a fusion. All right, tell us a little bit about uh, how you came up with this concept. Well, I like Japanese um, history and I love Pokemon, so I wanted to branch them all together. It was pretty fun, interesting, and plus I wanted to emphasize on you can make your own original character by also adding on to something else that you like. So I pulled Pokemon for that reason. Oh, I'm looking at your hat up close, and that is amazing. Pose for the audience. Give them a round of applause. I need you to stand over here, but just not too close to Ash Ketchum for reasons. All right. What we got? Up next, we have Sarah as Tainari from Genshin Impact. All right. Hi, Sarah. How are you? I'm pretending to be awake. So Genshin Impact is a video game, right? Yes. Yeah. How many hours of your life have you spent playing that game? I'll be honest, I'm not really sure. I don't keep track of hours. Have you had to guess? Days, weeks, months? Mm, maybe a couple months at least. A couple months of your life in that world. Excellent. What made you choose this character specifically? Um, I'm not really sure. He just came out and I just loved his ears and his tail so much that like every time I see him, I'm like, Tainari, I need you to be my it's a great answer. All right, pose for the audience. Round of applause, folks. <laughs> Have you go stand over there next to those two ladies. All right, this is our final one. Final one. Our final contestant, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's put our hands together for Lord Asgora. I can see that you're a shy, quiet person on stage. What made you choose this character? Uh, so I do a lot of content on TikTok related to fighting games. So a lot of people say I look like a fighting game character. So I just basically created an original version of that. You know what? Crowd uh, crowdsourcing cosplay ideas is something the internet was made for. How long did it take you to put this together? Uh, so the Hayori was at least about two months. Um, the pants, at least a month. And the gourd I got from an Etsy shop called uh, Gourd Cottage on Etsy. Excellent. All right. We'll go ahead and pose for the audience. Give them a round of applause. All right. So what's going to happen next is, Sydney, you're going to take the three judges, exit the stage, and come back with our winners in a couple of minutes. And the contestants and I are going to stay on stage. So if you want to follow Sydney, you guys are going to decide the winners. And I'm going to stand here and tell you a really, really horrible secret. Ready? I run anime conventions for a living. I have only ever watched one anime in my entire life. Just one. Sailor Moon. All right, folks. We're about to uh, go through and announce our winners. Before we do that, though, please, an overwhelming round of applause to these amazing contestants for entering this year. Before we announce the winners, we're going to start with our judges award. If I could have each of the judges come up one at a time. So each judge got to pick their own favorite and they're going to announce their winner. And winners, when you uh, come up here, you're going to grab a bag and I need you to stand right over there for right now, okay? So who is our first judges award? I have to pick Usopp. <laughs> Usopp, you got a WasabiCon prize bag. Usopp, let me have you stand right over here and give him a round of applause, folks. And for my personal favorite, I personally loved Naruto, so yeah. All right. 
Go ahead and hang over next to Usopp over there. Give him a round of applause, folks. え、私はゴロを選びます。ゴロ。え、作ったものではなしに生身の体です。毎日たくさん食べてこの体を作ったことにすごく努力を感じました。going over the kids. Give Goro a round of applause. All right, judges, if I can stand you back over there. And give our judges a round of applause too, Fox. All right, Sydney. Uh, I'm going to have everybody give you a drum roll, but if you can tell us who our runner-up is. Drum roll on your laps, everybody. Come on. All right, our runner-up is Luca Asme. Luca wins a free pass to WasabiCon 2024 and MegaCon 2024 and a bunch of WasabiCon prizes. Give her a round of applause. All right, Luca, let me have you stand right over there for me. All right, this is it, folks. This is the best of show for the Orlando Japan Festival 2024 cosplay contest. Who is our winner, Sydney? All right, our winner today is Allison as Diva. Allison just won two free passes to MegaCon Orlando and two free passes to Wasabi Con in Jacksonville 2024. Give a round of applause. All right, winners, if I could have you guys stand right here real quick. Diva and you three right here. Have you guys pose together. All right. One more time for our winners, ladies and gentlemen. All right, judges, can I have you guys come sit up front right over here, please, real quick? All right, sit right there. Now all the contestants, just gather around there real quick. Let's all get to one big group, group photo for everybody. Sydney, uh, you're on the side. Let's make sure we get the kids in front. All right, Sydney. Everybody, this is your photo op. Here we go, folks. One, two, three, everybody pose. All right, now the most important one. Everybody get really, really close together. Because I come all this way just to get a selfie. All right, everybody get in my selfie, ready? One, two. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for all of our contestants for the Orlando Japan Festival 2023 costume.